According to defense.gov, November 11th was originally called Armistice Day, uh, recognizing the end of World War One. And ever since then, it's been a day to primarily thank living veterans. The war to end all wars. November 11th, 1918 marks the end of World War One, although fighting continued into the following year. Congress recognized Armistice Day as an official holiday in 1938. It became known as Veterans Day in 1971, recognized in October, according to Defense.gov. But President Gerald Ford officially made it November 11th in 1978. As Commander-in-Chief of the Michigan National Guard, I want to thank all of the brave men and women who have put their lives on the line for others in this state. Just in time for Veterans Day, on Tuesday, Governor Whitmer and some Michigan leaders introduced a package of bills aimed to help veterans and their families obtain employment. The act that I have will be Senate Bill 1222. The bills make it less of a hassle to obtain professional licensing. Military families with out-of-state licenses would have an easier time obtaining in-state licensure, including health care professions. We can always use more doctors, more nurses, more technicians. And uh, this hopefully will attract people who are very well qualified, who have had years of experience doing these things back here to our state. Now, veterans are already able to obtain certain fee waivers when it comes to certain professional occupational licenses. If this bill becomes law, those fee waivers would then extend to military spouses as well as their children under the age of 26. Now, coming up at uh, 630, we take a look at local resources available for veterans who may be struggling. For now, I'm live in Detroit this morning. Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.